How to calculate APY on a bank savings account. When you put money into a savings account, the bank generally reports the annual percentage rate APR and the frequency of compounding interest. A lower interest rate with more frequent compounding could result in higher earnings. Calculating annual percentage yield APY tells you how much you can expect to earn by the end of the year. Using the formula APY equals 1 plus RN N minus 1 display style text APY equals 1 plus FRAC RN caret N minus 1 will let you calculate the APY if you know the interest rate and compounding frequency. Calculating APY by hand. Gather the necessary data. You need to know two pieces of information to perform this calculation. Interest rate R. This is the interest rate that the bank quotes for savings accounts of your type. Pay attention to the different rates for different types of accounts. For example, a money market account will generally have a higher interest rate than a savings account, and a savings account will have a higher interest rate than a checking account if the checking account earns any interest at all. The rate should be expressed as a decimal, so a number like 3% would be used as 0.03. Compounding frequency N. Ask a lending official at the bank how often the bank compounds interest per year. Use the APY formula. There is a fairly simple formula for calculating the APY, based on the annual interest rate and the number of times interest is compounded. This formula is APY equals 1 plus RN N minus 1 display style text APY equals 1 plus FRAC RN caret N minus 1. Apply the data and perform the calculation. Suppose, for example, your bank advertises a 1% interest rate on savings accounts and compounds interest quarterly. This means that R equals 0.01 display style R equals 0.01 and N equals 4 display style N equals 4. Apply these figures to the calculation as follows. APY equals 1 plus RN N minus 1 display style text APY equals 1 plus FRAC RN caret N minus 1. APY equals 1 plus 0 0.014 4 minus 1 display style text APY equals 1 plus FRAC 0 0.014 4 caret 4 minus 1. APY equals 1.00254 minus 1 display style text APY equals 1.0025 caret 4 minus 1. APY equals 0 0.010038 display style text APY equals 0 0.010038. You probably need an advanced calculator to perform the exponent function for this calculation. Most simple calculators have, at most, a button for squaring a number. You will need a more advanced calculator with a caret button to raise the number to any chosen exponent. Interpret the result. Notice that, for this example, the APY result is very nearly the same as the bank's interest rate. The increase is only 0.0038%. Even so, if you have a large amount of money, invested over time, this increase can add up. Try a different example. Suppose, as a second example, the bank offers the same 1.0% interest rate but compounds the interest daily rather than quarterly. In this case, the rate is the same, R equals 0.01 display style R equals 0.01 but N equals 365 display style N equals 365 technically the number of days in a year is probably more accurately represented as 365.25. That difference could become meaningful with large amounts of money. For this example, however, just use N equals 365 display style N equals 365. APY equals 1 plus RN N minus 1 display style text APY equals 1 plus FRAC RN caret N minus 1. APY equals 1 plus 0.01365 365 minus 1 display style text APY equals 1 plus FRAC 0.01 365 caret 365 minus 1. APY equals 1.0025365 minus 1 display style text APY equals 1.0025 caret 365 minus 1. APY equals 0.01005 display style text APY equals 0.01005. Interpret the new result. When the same interest rate is compounded daily, rather than quarterly, the APY increases from 1.0038% to 1.005%. Again, when working with large amounts of money, over time, this difference gains higher significance. 